Welcome back. Uh, market still moving in narrow ranges and likely to end pretty close to where it began in the morning, uh, ab around that 8, 8.430 mark. Mr. Rajan Shah of uh, Trade Bulls has also joined us and of course Mr. Tulsian, Ambarish, Ashwini and uh, Mitesh are still with us. Uh, Rajan, good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, well, of all the results that have come so far, uh, not a great deal has come, probably about 20 companies. Uh, in the mid-cap space, what stood out for you? Uh, Lata, very frankly, not uh, 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 not very interesting results actually. You know, uh, whatever has been expectation has been met actually. Uh, not uh, uh, any kind of surprise on the upside actually. Uh, but I think the markets is uh, hammering those stocks which have not uh, come out with uh, or exceeded their ex expectations, like Reliance Industries. You know, so I think that fall was unjustified. You know, from 1084 to almost 1035. So I think. Uh, uh, sooner or later the market will realize that uh, it's the cheapest uh, frontline stock at 10 times and uh, has got a great future, uh, Geo I'm talking about. Uh, just like, uh, you know, we have water and air, similarly, you know, we c will not be able to do without internet and data in the next 5-10 years, you know, because of digitization. So I think the P multiples of telecom companies and Reliance in particular will expand a lot. So uh, that's my view. Okay. Yeah. Well, by the way, uh, some some really big deals happening in Torrent uh, Power. Uh, That's really been one of the big stocks of the day, uh, and uh, 1.1 crore shares uh, changing hands on that, and that stock is up almost uh, seven and a half percent. Mr. Sen, this has been the stock of the day, Torrent Power. Uh, uh, any fundamental call here? See, fundamentals of the company are looking very good, but the only problem, Anuj, which we have seen with the company, that for last three quarters they have not been able to post the good numbers maybe last quarter of the of the FY16 plus these two quarters this one but there has been and in fact you know if you recall we have been taking the positive call on the all the Gujarat based power generation company if you if you recall torrent power they have the presence in Surat, Gandhinagar, Ahmedabad they, all this company you know Surat electricity, Ahmedabad electricity got merged into it they have the distribution in, in Agra they have distribution in Bivandi so the things are looking quite robust they have a very good generation capacity they have a very good transmission distribution in fact you know there is there are very few companies available like maybe CSE and this torrent power but apart from that three companies which in fact we have discussed in this last one week in addition to torrent power that is GMDC and GIPCL so I am keeping the we have been keeping a bullish view on power generation because we are expecting the power consumption uh, power demand to go up and they, that will see the power generation companies really benefiting a lot and it's the same thing here with uh, with torrent power they have their captive mines as i said I, as i've said that they have their distribution also because they are distributed distributed in surat amdabad and gandhinagar plus the distributor in vivandi and uh, in agra so all these things are putting uh, 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 in an advantageous position but honestly if you really ask me i won't be able to comment on these uh, block deals and the specific up move of the of the seven eight percent seen today but all these three stocks gipcl gmdc and torrent power have seen risen by about 10 percent in last couple of weeks uh, uh, ashwini uh, this was your 12 30 call if i'm not wrong uh, uh, would you be booking here or uh, would you recommend your clients or uh, our viewers to take it forward for tomorrow see today you know there's been big action and that is validated by those block deals 160 is the bottom here and i think you will fairly soon uh, find the stock around 240 250 so this is uh, particularly looking like uh, somewhere where there has been clear institutional buying and uh, we should see much higher levels from here so this is the right time to get into this one okay. Lata, any thoughts on the fresh numbers that from i was just going to say i mean this is an excellent number mm -hmm. i mean not uh, uh, seen any f uh, huge rise in slippages despite it being a, a big quarter but uh, uh, we must take what Ashw uh, uh, Ambarish has been telling us that it's quite possible that some of the uh, troubles and travails of uh, demonetization could be felt in the next quarter. With that limited point, this is a very good performance. No two ways about it. A third of what was uh, uh, reported in the previous quarter in terms of slippages is a very good showing. We'll wait and see when we come to the next quarter. Okay. Uh, I mean, demonetization is unprecedented for everybody. Oh, yes. uh, Ambarish, uh, you uh, before we do that, uh, Lata, just uh, one minute left for markets to close. So oh, let's yes. just do a quick recap before we uh, take final thoughts from our experts. Uh, well, uh, quite okay day for the market. It was in a range, of course, uh, 
and uh, ended uh, right at the maybe top end of the range at least on the nifty not quite on the bank nifty which also had the weekly options expiry to deal with uh, in terms of individual stocks from the nifty gale was the top gainer it will be considering bonus issue idea was up 3% in fact the entire telecom space rallied today idea bharti infratel bharti airtel support for market came from itc that was up 1% ongc which was up 2% aishar motors tata motors dvr and also infosys which was up 3 fourths of 1% on the way down though uh, pharma stocks were down ahead of uh, trump's appointment so robindo pharma lupin sun pharma were down access was down ahead of numbers uh, and of course uh, ultratex cement saw some profit taking uh, as did uh, mahindra and mahindra but uh, in the broader market also lata there were big gainers today oh yes uh, among the uh, well, I, i wanted to start with the losers simply because kpit was such a stand out yeah. loser market didn't like the fall in margins so the company said that uh, their margins will improve in the fourth quarter uh, delta corp saw a decent amount of profit taking after the stock ran up and the numbers kind of didn't uh, match up uh, global spirit siat mine tree were among the other stocks that lost you already mentioned gale aban offshore was another stock uh, mm. uh, in a related uh, sphere that saw decent gains idbi bank came out of nowhere and performed 3 and a half but that again could be technical positioning because of uh, the expiry of uh, uh, the nifty bank uh, that's uh, okay then there were other uh, uh, s- smaller stocks castrol wonderla manpasan which all showed a decent amount of gains but among the uh, smaller stocks uh, there was some interesting performance as hatsons agro and i wanted to ask mr tulsan about it it reported a decent set of numbers and then the uh, highly leveraged ones mm. uh, which also have this metal hanging on to them monet espath variety probably because of uttam galwa's news uh, or expected news that it may be bought over monet espath also had a good day but future market network is another stock that's been doing well for the past many days mm. and that's another stock which continue to shine so there were these odd stocks but mainly steel stocks uh, Uh, high leverage prices going up uh, leverage costs likely to come down the small combination of circumstances kept them up but they are really largely trader stocks now oh yes uh, they are uh, let's take some final thoughts uh, before we call it a day but uh, uh, rajan uh, you know your thoughts on pharma space uh, we, we of course we have the inauguration tomorrow uh, uh, and some of these stocks have underperformed a lot already anything that you would want to take a bet on right now Well, Anuj, uh, the stocks were uh, certainly richly priced. You know, I mean, they were quoting at five times, six times the sales. You know, I mean, so obviously there had to be some sort of correction in those stocks, and it came in the form of the statement by uh, you know uh, President-elect uh, Trump. So uh, you know, uh, and I think uh, they are making uh, some of the companies are making really uh, very rich profits. You know, so even if they uh, go through some pressure, uh, should not be an issue actually, except for the investors uh, who are holding shares of pharma companies. You know. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Ambarish, uh, you know, we saw decent number from Havels. So, right. anything else in the consumer space which got beaten down out of demonetization fears and now look attractive? Uh, in fact, uh, I mean, these are stocks which I've been recommending for a while post demonetization, saying that they've been thrashed uh, too much, and I think it's been overdone. And I was recommending stocks like Asian Paints, Whirlpool, Dabur, Pedialyte to a certain extent. and we have seen some movement in stocks like asian paints but still i think even at these levels uh, these stocks are decently priced and if one is looking at possibly 6 months plus even at these levels one could look at buying because quite a few of them have been thrashed anywhere between 20 to 30% okay uh, mr tulsian any of the recently announced numbers i mean do you take an interest in stocks like hatsons agro Uh, the Hudson Agro numbers were good, but I don't think I don't know uh, how much uh, upside we have seen today in the stock. But I think it has been up by about 10-12 percent. So I won't be. I don't think that results really justify that kind of upset. But today number you know which have really come in is of Kirloskar Pneumatic, and that has not been discussed much. If you really see the EPS has uh, come in at 15 rupees 60 paise for Q3 against 4 rupees 68 paise for Q2, while for whole of FY16 the EPS was was at about 28 rupees, which has been achieved. in this 9 months so i am keeping a positive bias on the kirloskar pneumatics but apart from that you know i won't be disappointed with the numbers of ujjivan also because the provisions having clarified by them and generally what happens with this microfinance companies this promoters they come keep coming in the intermittent period also and once they give the recovery rate you know maybe after 15 days or couple of quarters or after one that can you know regenerate the interest in the stock at the current level 
and we have already discussed that yes bank has been good numbers hester bio which we have seen in the morning that has been you know more or less on the expected line so broadly yeah. these has been the call on the on the numbers you know which have been declared today okay kirloskar you may take intriguing no idea still the postpones yeah. board meeting scheduled for jan 23 to consider yeah, yeah i was about, about little, uh, to talk about that intriguing <laughs> yeah this is intriguing but uh, you know there's a lot of buzz surrounding idea but it, it could be just a case of uh, you know uh, maybe some some minor issues here or there exactly. don't know but uh, for now it's been postponed the stock was up today up about 3% uh, kiloska pneumatic is a stock that mr sun spoke about uh, we, we we missed talking about that actually today through the day and the stock actually was locked on circuit up 20% uh, uh, final thoughts from our technical experts uh, ashwini uh, Do you get a sense that tomorrow is could be a more uh, you know a more broader day in terms of the market range? Today we had a narrow day. See, we had narrow days for last six sessions. Mm-hmm. Now the good news is that we are not coming off, and uh, what is happening is that uh, the twenty and fifty day moving averages are slowly turning on the upside. Now uh, you know uh, today was a very very narrow range inside day. so today's range was narrower than yesterday so good chance that we try to break out again but uh, uh, let's see if we can get follow through at higher levels given these banking results maybe if axis bank can help a bit uh, you know banks have to take the lead you need a 250 300 point strong rally because axis bank is probably one of the first large uh, banks to come out with results and if that can happen probably at least uh, we could have a good half a day if not a full day but uh, given that we have already already done six uh, sideways sessions and today is extremely narrow range day uh, the odds of a breakout tomorrow become uh, a bit higher okay uh, mitesh uh, your thoughts so uh, as i was saying i think you know i still believe that we will be range bound uh, the breadth continues to impress me so i think a lot of opportunities on the trading side will come on the long side in the mid cap and the uh, uh, the fno pack in general but broadly i believe that you know uh, during one of after after you know trying to get past this 84 60 8500 zone a few times i think you know one of these is will have a slightly deeper correction and we we might test levels close to about 8350 8330 8330 that would be an excellent entry point Okay, gentlemen. Thanks a lot uh, for joining us and taking us through the last hour of trade uh, uh, and giving us with all the ideas. Uh, uh, well, uh, the final countdown was uh, for eighteen points up on the Nifty and forty uh, points down on the Bank Nifty. Not much. Uh, our closing bell. Advanced,